Dave Staley has more on what could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for the Tryon players, coaches, and fans, too. In Georgia, the battle cry is make it to the Dome. Coach Mark Loudermilk's Bulldogs have reached that goal. Tryon worked hard this week, getting ready for Friday morning's single-A semifinal matchup with unbeaten and top-ranked Lincoln County. Yes, I said Friday morning, 9 a.m. at the Georgia Dome. That'll throw your schedule off just a little bit. We're going to get bed early. We're going to have curfew lights out at 10 o'clock when we go down and spend the night. And we'll get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, so we'll be ready to go. You know, we'll have to eat pregame at 5.30, and it won't be steak and green beans and baked potatoes. It's going to be eggs and grits and toast and cereal and that kind of stuff. Traveling this deep into the playoffs is a dream come true for the dogs and the Tryon community. At 12-1 and one this season, the Bulldogs have steamrolled just about everybody. Loudermilk says he's trying to keep his kids focused, but with all of the hype, that's easier said than done. Make sure we have a good time going down there and all, all that kind of good stuff, but the main thing, we can't lose our focus on while we're going down there. We're going down to play Lincoln and, you know, and, and try to win a ball game. Beating Lincoln County and advancing to the state title game will be a tough task, but if any team can do it, it's trying. The Dogs have won three state championships, the last coming in 1974. And that's the last time a team from our coverage area in North Georgia won it all. Who'd the Bulldogs beat in the finals that year? Lincoln County. From Tryon, Dave Staley, News Channel 9 Sports.